Hey guys and welcome, my name is Jenya. In today's video we're going to be doing mostly kitchen cleaning. There's a dumping ground area which I would have to declutter. And then we got restocking, loading and unloading the dishwasher. I just did some grocery shopping so there is a bunch of stuff on the countertops. There is food and there is mess that comes from the kids and just a regular kitchen mess. And then we of course need to vacuum and mop the floors. The kitchen is where our new young dog is allowed to be all day long. Plus. I I have two toddlers so the kitchen gets extremely messy especially the floors i'm hoping today's video will bring you plenty of motivation to clean organize and declutter your home let me start by showing you the disaster pictures of the kitchen and for those who may be new i am jenya i am a mom of two toddlers two and three years old we also have a puppy who we adopted about seven months ago and we have a cat right now i am pregnant with twins i am about to enter my third trimester getting pregnant with twins was a blessing and a surprise which my husband and i are also extremely nervous about and so we especially me are trying to get our house ready and get all of the bigger projects done projects like room makeovers huge declutters and organization of all the areas you can imagine i'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible and of course let's not forget about deep cleaning all over the house so this is the kind of stuff you can find on this channel and especially Especially all of the heavier projects of right now before I have the babies. In my last video I was completing my kids toy organization in their playroom and we are looking to transform that playroom into two rooms now which is going to be guest room slash playroom. That is one of the makeovers that we are working on but in that last video I asked you guys to tell me a little bit about yourself and if you have a family and kids and I was so happy to read all of your responses. It really is interesting to me to get to know you a little bit, have an idea of who you are because remember you could see me on the screen but I have no idea what your faces look like so it's all up to my imagination and feel free to always let me know a little bit about yourself whether you work or you're a stay-at-home mom how many kids you have if you have any maybe you're a student maybe you're a grandma it's so much fun for me to be reading those kind of comments and getting an idea of what you guys are like so you can always feel free to just leave a comment and let me know how your day is going what is on your agenda and to-do list and don't be shy to tell me anything about you or your family anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll be popping in and out to talk to you and explain to you what is going through my head and what i'm doing I'm just trying to clear out a couple of surfaces so that I can unload my dishwasher. Of course, when you do it with kids in the kitchen, you're always interrupted. I don't know about you, but I run about two to three loads of dishwasher a day. My husband normally helps me with the night load and we run it through the night. And then in the morning while my kids are having breakfast is the best time for me I found to unload the dishwasher. Although I missed that window today, this is after their breakfast. I find it that I always need to be on my feet when they're eating because they always ask for something else and they always need help with something I'm sure you know if you have kids I find it easier to just have a peaceful breakfast by myself after they are done anyways also while pregnant I found that it's easier for me to unload the dishwasher all at once onto one surface and then go ahead and separate the dishes into the different cabinets that they go to I find it that I don't have to bend over quite as much doing things that way so right now I'm just trying to clear out a couple of surfaces so that I can unload the dishwasher after that I'll clear out the the rest of the countertop put the food away freezing whatever needs to be frozen we'll be wiping the appliances cleaning the kitchen sink just a regular kitchen cleaning
Before I continue to the dishwasher, I forgot to make my morning coffee. I mean, technically it's still morning. I try not to have it after 12, well, sometimes one o'clock because I keep forgetting to make my morning coffee. I think that also might have something to do with the pregnancy because no matter how busy I get in the mornings, when I wasn't pregnant, I would never forget to make my morning coffee. I wouldn't even understand if somebody told me, oh, I forgot to make my morning coffee. I wouldn't even understand how that would make sense. I think I'm going to start putting a reminder on my phone so that I can have my coffee done before the cutoff time. Do you see that black bottom on the bottom of this pot? I normally would use a baking soda cream cleaner for that. If that doesn't work, I would also try the Power Paste by Scrub Daddy with the Scrub Daddy sponge. But after I cleaned it last time, it wasn't working anymore and I finally realized why. I think that's because I started baking my sourdough bread in this pot. They did recommend not to use any kind of Dutch oven that is white on the inside, but I didn't have any other ones and so my now Dutch oven is probably permanently going to stay black on the inside. But at least I am so happy that I finally learned how to make a beautiful sourdough bread. Not to brag, but I never thought that I would be able to pull this off, especially from the, my second attempt. The first one didn't work and the second one came out beautiful. I tried not to brag, but I can't help it. Here is a little picture on the screen. I finally found a good system that works for my microfiber cloths. Whenever I am done with one, I just rinse it real quick and then I hang them on a curtain rod under my sink. Once it's dry, I just put it into a basket with all the other dried ones and once I have a big batch, I just wash them all together in cold water. I might go through quite a few microfiber cloths in a day, but I always start my morning with a fresh microfiber cloth. I never had a problem with my microfiber cloth stinking like, you know, like kitchen rags sometimes do, but I did something wrong just recently 
recently they started stinking however i solved that problem really quickly and i'll be sharing the story with you towards the end of this video as i will be washing and folding my microfiber cloths Now that the kitchen sink is done, I'm just going to turn around and take care of the fruit and vegetables that I got from Costco. We always seem to run out just a couple of things that I absolutely cannot live without and I end up going back to Costco and buying all the fruit and vegetables. We eat them really fast, but I have a whole freezer full of meat in the garage and I promised myself that I'm not buying any more meat until I go through all of that meat in the garage. <laughs> so, so far I've just been buying fruits and vegetables and this apple juice. My kids drink like crazy and it doesn't have any sugar added i don't know if you care for that stuff but i do anyways this juice is not from concentrate it doesn't have any sugar added but i still add half water to it and then i give it to my kids just because this is their main drink throughout the day <laughs> Of course, after me just talking about not buying any more meat, this is the only meat I actually did buy this time. This is my go-to for easy meals and I run out of it all the time. It's skinless and boneless chicken thighs and normally I just cut them apart to put them to freeze. But what I think I will start doing is just open them up, chop them up, then put them into Ziploc bags and then freeze them all chopped up and prepared for my next meal. I normally freeze a lot of stuff including vegetables, but what I'm going to start doing is actually prepping vegetables for cooking and keeping them prepped. 
prepped in my fridge, you know, like chopped or grated carrots, onions, peppers, etc. Once I have my meal planned for the week ready, I feel like I will know how much ingredients I need to keep in my fridge, all prepared. And let me know, guys, if you do that, if you prep your ingredients in your fridge, or better yet, if you do meal prep and planning. I'm curious just how many people actually do that. So one of the chickens I'm going to freeze in this freezer in the kitchen and the other one I'm going to keep in the fridge for my next whatever I'm cooking. The fruit fly trap, I always keep it by the fruit, just a little bit of apple cider vinegar or one drop of dishwashing soap and that's it. Sometimes I even add honey to it to just attract a little bit more flies. But I found that without honey it works just as well. Now that the kitchen counters are mostly done, it is time to declutter this area which is our catch-all. After I'm done here, I'm still going to wipe the fridge and the dishwasher and then a wash and a vacuum the floors. And then I'm also going to fold those microfiber cloths and tell you what I did to stop them from stinking. I'm gonna be doing that in the dining room behind me. I did a huge declutter and I wanna say I can call it a makeover of that dining room. A couple of months ago, I want to say, you were all pretty impressed with that transformation and especially the new DIY table. I want to say that room is not getting cluttered anymore and it is actually getting cluttered, but with my plants. Anyway, we'll go in there in a few minutes and you'll see for yourself. I don't know if you've heard of this new store if it popped up on your phone yet or not. It's called Temu, T-E-M-U. Everything is extremely cheap over there and it's just little things like uh, fun things, you know, kitchen organization. I got those a little strips the white ones for wires and i love them i just got a little bunch of things to try out and i wasn't expecting them to be any good quality and i was prepared for it but it turned out to be better than i expected and that doesn't happen every day so those little organizers for wires i got 10 of them for like a dollar or 88 cents i think so i'm still exploring that store so i can't quite recommend anything but i am really quite liking it I swear this door is the dirtiest door in history, I can't keep up with it. I don't know if there's a point for me to wipe it down right now because maybe by the end of this video even, it's going to be just as dirty as it was before. Puppy and toddlers in and out all day long with their little sticky toddler hands, I'm sure you can imagine. You might have also noticed that my nose is getting blocked. <laughs> 
It's been two days now and it got a little bit worse. I'm feeling fine, I'm not sick or anything, but my nose is completely blocked. When it comes to nasal sprays, they tell you not to use them for more than three days in a row, so I'm just trying to save that time just for the night time for right now, so that I can use the nasal spray just for the night to get some sleep. Our puppy is a mix of Labrador, I think, and Retriever. I think it's just a mix of everything, but the main thing is he chews on everything. And from what we learned online, it's more of a, I might be mistaken, but it's more of a Labrador behavior. It's been kind of driving me crazy because we so far have bought him two dog beds, which he completely ate and took all the stuffing out of it. <laughs> so all the stuffing is constantly all over the floor. If there is anything that has stuffing inside of it, he's going to break it, pull it apart and just you know destroy it let me know if you know anything about it i know plenty of you have dogs i know that not all dogs do that but a lot of dogs do that especially like i mentioned maybe we are mistaken but it seems to be like labradors like to do that so right now in his cage for night sleeping he's got a bunch of towels and baby blankets the one that he cannot take the stuffing out of instead of a nice fluffy dog bed because he destroyed both of them but yeah there is always something he's busy working on and his end results are always all over the floor, especially in the kitchen. So yeah, that's fun. But anyways, I'm just refilling this new organizer with potatoes and onions. My daughter is going to help me here and it really is appreciated a lot. I am aware that you're not supposed to keep potatoes and onions close up together. I'm still trying to figure this situation out since I'm not enjoying this organizer not one little bit. I think it is too late to return it. I've had it for over a month. It's always leaning towards one side or the other. It's not sturdy or anything. I'm keeping it just because, you know, I have it. I'm thinking of other options at the moment. I'm thinking of getting a wooden one maybe. And after I'm done with this video, this organizer is going to fall and all the potatoes are going to be on the floor. And even if I'm putting too much stuff on it, I have had less stuff on it. It's still leaning towards one side or the other. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good purchase. But anyways, we are cleaning up the floor right now. I'm using my Pine Soul absolutely favorite floor cleaner, just mostly for the smell. It works great and I love it. I just remembered that I forgot to wipe down the appliances, just the dishwasher and the fridge. I decided to stop and do that now just because if I do the floors first, it's like a final step to me and I normally forget to do anything else after that. My Dyson vacuum just died, so I'm just going to sweep this little area that the kitchen rug was on and start mopping the floors. I wanted to mention that we do have hardwood floors in the kitchen and I finally, I don't know why I didn't before, but I finally ordered myself a microfiber mop. I think it's much safer for hardwood floors as well as the rest of the floors in the house of ours, which is cork floors. They really do not like being mopped. We have plans for changing the floors eventually Eventually, but not anytime soon. I think we are leaning towards having carpet all the way upstairs. We're having more babies and it's a cheaper option. For now, we're happy with the cork floors that we have, but eventually we might install carpet. Right now, there is so much on our to-do list, but it can also get hard financially really fast when you're about to have a baby especially too and especially if you don't really have much stuff you know i donated everything from my previous babies like i mentioned in my other videos so we're buying everything from scratch starting from beds and everything so i'm trying to use facebook marketplace for that and of course there's going to be a few hand-me-downs to me but i need everything times two at least i think so so yeah, the project list is long. It is to be continued after the babies are born, of course. It's just life. Life is full of projects. Life is busy. Life is wonderful and we better enjoy it the way we have it right now, <laughs> not later.
I always like doing a second round of mopping because the first time some things might be stuck to the floor and by the second time you get them they are easily coming off the floor if you know what I mean. So yeah, most of the times I try to mop it twice. In the meanwhile there is a few more dishes that collected in the sink and I'm going to load the dishwasher with them and start the dishwasher now. This air fryer in the corner on the left hand side, I decided to find a spot for it inside the cabinets. I like my countertops clear as much as possible because that's my workspace. This dirt water is just from the kitchen alone. I am next going to show you the after pictures of the kitchen and we are moving on to the microfiber cloths. And what happened was that I normally wash my microfiber cloths in cold water with a little bit of sanitizer and of course just laundry detergent. However, lately I have been obsessed with OxyClean powder and I was adding that instead. They say you shouldn't add anything except for laundry detergent to your microfiber cloths during the washing cycle, but I did anyways. So something happened during one washing cycle and they came out really stinky. So after doing my google research the easiest method was to soak them in baking soda so i did about half a cup of baking soda and some warm water it was recommended to leave them for about half an hour i left them for a few hours because i went to the store after i came back a few hours later i just rinsed them and then hung them to dry now i'm working with two different batches here i'm just making it into one video i didn't record this whole process at first and then it worked so well that i wanted to include it in my video and so i'm working with a different bunch of cloths here that were actually not smelly and I just wanted to record the process exactly how I did it so after soaking them in baking soda for a few hours and then drying them uh, I didn't really notice any smell after that but then I decided to just give them a wash anyway with my favorite sanitizer and give it one extra step of drying them in the Sun kitchen rags normally stink because there's bacteria in them you don't want to spread that around and keeping it in a wet space also less the bacteria grow Grow. It's better in my opinion to dry your rag before throwing them together with all the other dirty rags and then washing just the kitchen rags together with no other clothes is also a good thing. And then sun is actually a natural disinfectant and that's what I decided to do. I've never done that before with my rags. That's because I never really had stinking rags until just recently. I think it had something to do with me using OxyClean powder. You're not really supposed to add anything to microfiber cloths as far as I I know everybody says you should just use laundry detergent but I like using my sanitizer and I never had a problem with that now I just dried them on air fluff I didn't have to dry them here since I was going to put them outside in the Sun anyway but we're talking pregnancy brain right here you know I'm doing some things that I cannot even explain but anyways after washing them in the washing machine I should have just straight put them out in the Sun and just let them you know disinfect themselves or whatever it is that the sun does to them to kill any kind of leftover bacteria and after i did that for a few hours i am telling you my rags were smelling like i don't want to exaggerate i want to say like flowers but they really did smell very pleasant there was no stinkiness left in them whatsoever and i'm just right now coming to the dining room i'm clearing out this table so that i can sit down and fold those microfiber cloths ever since the huge declutter of this room I've just been keeping my necessary stuff in here like the computer and my plants of course since it's a big surface it's easy to just let the stuff land here all the time but I can't let that happen simply because we actually have dinners here and a lot of you are new here to my channel you might not understand why I am talking about this room so much it was a complete disaster before until I did a huge declutter and we built this table and just did a complete I want to say makeover in case you're interested in watching 
watching that video with the transformation of this room I'm gonna leave it underneath this video in the description box and you would be shocked just how cluttered this room was before we actually decided to make a complete transformation and declutter and keep it simple from then on To draw a conclusion on what I have learned from that whole experience with the rags, I'm never going to use any kind of powders with the washing cycle except for the laundry detergent and my sanitizer. If the kitchen rags ever start to smell, I'm just going to do that soaking in baking soda for 30 minutes and then washing them and drying in the sun. And there are many other ways to deal with stinky rags. You can use vinegar for that as well. So this is not the only way definitely, but it worked for me. When it comes to everyday care of my microfiber cloths, whenever I'm done with one or five, I just rinse them and and dry them on my drying rack under the sink and after they're done drying I'm just going to throw them into the basket where I collect all of the dry dirty microfiber cloths until I have a full batch and I'm going to wash that also I always start my morning with a new microfiber cloth I go through a lot of them a day and that's why it was always a headache on how to keep them how to wash them how to do everything correctly with them and have them not stink so now I finally have found my way that is absolutely working perfectly and all of that is not just coming from my pregnancy brain it is also also backed up by a lot of Google research that I have done in the past weeks. Anyways, that was a lot on microfiber cloths today, but I'm going to start ending this video right here. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you next Saturday. If you wish, leave me a comment and also check out the description for any kind of other videos you might want to watch next. Alright, happy weekend and bye-bye now!